Let's stay in Nairobi. Delegates have begun arriving in the country ahead of the 10th Ministerial Conference of the World Trade Organization. The conference, which will be officially opened on Tuesday, will be preceded by the China Roundtable and Women in Business Forums, which kick off tomorrow. Kenya is the first African country to host the ministerial conference, the highest decision-making body of the World Trade Organization. For a country that has been in the spotlight after hosting U.S. President Barack Obama and Pope Francis, whose visits to the country were five months apart, attention will once again be on Kenya as it hosts the 10th World Trade Organization ministerial conference. And so we are all geared up and we are all ready, prepared and excited. Delegates have already started arriving in the country. Over 100 of the 163 ministers from WTO member countries who are expected to attend the conference are in town. It's the ministers that will have to make the concessions. It's the ministers that will have to compromise. It's the ministers that will have to build the necessary consensus to achieve an outcome that all of them are comfortable with. The conference will be one of several firsts. It will be the first time that the China Roundtable meeting, the fourth of its kind, will be held on African soil. And Nairobi will be the venue of another historic step for the WTO. We have accessions. We have two countries that will be acceding to the WTO agreement here in Nairobi. Again, very, very historic. Never happened before that you have a ministerial where you have accessions. This is the first time it's happening, and we're extremely happy. One of them is uh, Liberia. Uh, and the president of Liberia will be signing the accession protocol on the 16th. The other one is Afghanistan, and the deputy CEO of Afghanistan will be here to sign the protocol also. On Monday, the fourth China Round Table and the Women in Business Forum will kick off ahead of the opening of the ministerial conference on Tuesday afternoon. Several issues on the agenda for negotiators during the four-day conference, including the Trade Facilitation Agreement, which seeks to cut global trade costs, cotton, special and differential treatment, and agriculture. And we hope that we'll have some outcome on agriculture. It will not be the total outcome, it will not be the complete outcome, uh, but we hope that it will lay the foundation for negotiations in agriculture going into the, uh, into the future. The conference is a negotiating forum and countries are hoping for a good outcome after three days of negotiations. We expect it to be a realistic outcome. We expect it to be an implementable outcome. And we expect it to lay the foundation for multilateral trade going into the future. The Kenyan delegation will be led by Foreign Affairs and International Trade Principal Secretary Karanja Kibishu. The conference, which seeks consensus on agreements aimed at reducing obstacles to international trade, is held every two years. Rita Tinina, KTN News.